Hi guys, this is Mohammad Munwar from Biotechnology Department. I am here to discuss my views on isolation of genomic DNA from plant cell by CTAM method. These are the contents that I am going to discuss right here are aim, introduction, principal, materials, preparation of CTAM buffer, procedure and lastly the results. The aim is to isolate genomic DNA from plant leaves by CTAB method. While coming to introduction, firstly, I'm going to discuss totally about DNA, the discovery of DNA and the history of DNA. While the discovery of DNA double helix by Frederick Griffith in 1928 discovers that a factor in a virulent bacteria that can transform a virulent bacteria into virulent bacteria. And next, by Rosalind Franklin in 1952, developed X ray photo of DNA. And lastly, the Watson and the Gray in 1953 described the DNA molecule from Franklin's X ray. While coming to the functions of DNA, are, DNA is a repository of the genetic information, it is also known as the blueprint of the organism. DNA is necessary for the formation of RNA synthesis. The sequence of nucleotides in DNA determines the protein development in new cells. In the form of double helix, DNA ensures that no errors occur in the genetic information. Nucleic acids, especially DNA, carry out a vital role in the human body. In particular, they play an essential role in cell division like mitosis and the meiosis. While coming to the types of DNA are A, B, Z, they are the predominant types of DNA while uh, coming they differ uh, uh, differently like Watson Crick form is called B DNA or B form DNA this is the most stable structure for random sequence DNA molecule only B DNA and Z DNA have been directly observed in cells these alternative forms differ in features like nature of helix number of residues pattern the spacing of the residues along the helix axis and the width of the helix these are the characteristics such as the differ in the types of DNA are uh, relative humidity, ions present in the medium, shape, helix, the diameter, the helix pitch and the, there are two types of DNA in this minor group and the major, major group. While coming about the genomic DNA, genomic DNA is also known as GDNA. Genomic deoxyribonucleic acid is chromosomal DNA in contrast to extra chromosomal DNAs like plasmid. Most organisms have the same genomic DNA in every cell. However, only certain genes are active in each cell to allow for cell function and differentiation within the body. The genome of an organism is the information of heredity which is passed from one generation to other generation. While I have said that gDNA is the chromosomal DNA of an organism representing the bulk of its genetic material. It is distinct from bacterial plasmid DNA, complementary DNA or mitochondrial DNA. While coming to the principle, the CETA method, the CETA method is by Murray Thompson uh, in 1980, is suitable method for the elimination of macromolecules without affecting the purity of DNA. Plant cells can be lysed with the ionic detergent C tab, which forms an insoluble complex with nucleic acid in a low salt environment. Under these conditions, polysaccharides, phenolic compounds, and other contaminants remain in the supernatant can be washed away. The DNA complex is solubilized by raising the salt concentration and precipitated with ethanol or isopropanol. And these are the materials that we're gonna use in this are CTAP buffer, T buffer, NaCl, chloroform, isoamyl alcohol, centrifuge, ethanol, electrophoresis apparatus, spectrophotometry, water bath, motor and pistol, microcentrifuge, tubes, ethidium, bromide. And the preparation of CTAP buffer, CTAP, cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide. That is a cationic detergent facilitates the separation of polysaccharides during purification while additives such as polyvinyl pyrrhodone can aid in remo removing polyphenols ceta based extraction buffers are widely used when purifying dna from plant tissues we need to prepare ceta buffer in this like uh, 
we need to add 1 gram of CETA powder, 10 ml of 1 amp trees, pH 8, 4 ml of 0.5 amp EDTA, 28 ml, pH 5 amp NaCl, and 40 ml of distilled water. We need to adjust the pH to 5 with HCl and make up to 100 ml with distilled water. And going to the procedure, we need to take fresh green leaves that should be gleaned with the st clean sterile water. We need to uh, weight an amount of 25 mg and collect into your vial. We need to grind the material that leaves with the help of tissue grinder in 400 mu C tab buffer under cool conditions. We need to incubate the vial at 60 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes, occasionally mixing with gentle swirling. We need to centrifuge at 15,000 RPM for 5 minutes and we need to collect the supernated into a clean tube and add equal volume of chloroform isoML alcohol mixture at 24 is to 1 ratio and 50 mL of ammonium acetate to it. Then we need to invert the tube for 5 minutes and centrifuge at 15,000 RPM for 5 minutes and then we need to collect the upper aqueous layer into a clean tube without disturbing the interface layer. While uh, next we need to uh, pre-precipitate the DNA by using double the quantity of chilled ethanol or isopropanol. Then we need to again centrifuge the content to precipitate the DNA, discard the supernatant and we need to air dry the pellet. And then we need to add 50 ml of TE buffer and vertex to mix the content in the buffer. Then we need to dilute the DNA thousand times in TE buffer and quantify by taking the OD at 260 uh, with a spectrophotometer. Then we need to take uh, rec readings at uh, lambda 260 or uh, lambda 280 ratios as an indicator of DNA purity. Then we can observe the purified DNA on 1% agarose gel after staining with ethidium bromide solution to ascertain its integrity. While going to DNA quality confirmation, uh, there we have to prepare 1% solution of agarose by melting 1 gram of agarose in 100 ml of 0.5x TBE buffer in a microwave for approximately 2 minutes. Then we need to allow for a couple of minutes, then add 2.5 ml of ethidium bromide still to mix. Then we need to cast a gel using a supply tray and a comb. Allow the gel to set for a minimum of 20 minutes at room temperature on a flat surface. Then we need to load the following the, within two separate gels like a 10 mule 1 kb ladder, 5 mule sample plus 5 mule water plus 2 mule 6x loading buffer. Then we need to run the gel for 30 minutes at 100 voltage. Then we need to expose the gel to UV light and photograph. Uh, photograph will be used for later demonstrations. We need to confirm DNA quality presence of a highly resolved high molecular weight band indicates good quality DNA presence of a smeared band indicates DNA degradation. Then while this is a pictorial presentation of the DNA isolation uh, like uh, in the step one we will be cutting the tissues in small pieces of the leaf mm, then we need to grind into the motor and the pestle with liquid nitrogen and t-tap collect the homogeneous mixture in a tube then centrifuge the sample we need to collect the supernatant and air dry the pellet we can uh, then we should be adding chilled ethanol then we'll again be the centrifuging the tube after that we, we should collect the pellet and remove supernatant then we'll be adding 70% ethanol to it and again centrifuge to that to pellet we need to add T buffer this is the whole process that I have said mm. this is the pictorial presentation of what we have done the C time methods after electrophoresis on a 1% agarose gel and staining with ethidium bromide these are the arrows that indicates the fragment like uh, they are uh, more than 10 fragments with a 245 BP and these are the pos these are the positive these are the positive and the this side is the negative one negative controls of a molecular ladders were used in this hope you like my video do share comment like subscribe thank you